In today's video, I'm going to be photographing the planet Venus from my backyard and also give you some tips and tricks on how to get good detail out of the planet Venus. Stay tuned. Come on, clouds. In this video, I'm going to be using a Celestron C8, a Skywatcher EQM35 Pro, and a Jackery battery. I am also going to be using a ZWO ASI 178mm. All right, guys, looks like Venus isn't really out yet because it's too bright out, so I'm going to go to the moon first and see what that looks like and also get focused up. There's the moon, as you can see. So we're all focused up, and it looks like Venus is out and ready to go. So we'll fully focus on Venus when we get to it. Just make sure the moon's relatively focused so that way Venus will be. All right, let's go ahead and go to Venus. Usually, if you're doing Venus, you would want to use a U Venus filter. I'm going to place you guys a little more over here. Venus is kind of in this direction. It's hard to see from my camera the exact same thing. But um, if you're doing Venus, I would definitely recommend getting a U Venus filter. Basically what those are, they will block out certain light wavelengths and you will actually be able to get some of the cloud surface detail of Venus. Unlike usual, if you're not using a U Venus filter, you're just basically in a white blob. Unfortunately, I do not have a U Venus filter right now, but I'm planning to get one in the near future, but currently I do not have one. So I'm not gonna get, you know, one of those crazy images where you can see all the cloud bands and everything. I'm just gonna get a very, very basic image of Venus but it will look very sharp hopefully we'll see when it actually comes in the end let me go ahead and tighten up my telescope now that i'm kind of centered on venus i'm not sure if it's in the frame doesn't look like it is yet all right guys so officially from the planet venus it is getting cold out here and i am ready to go and focus so let's go ahead and select here this is basically the uh i recommend doing the uh automatic alignment in the center Keep it in the center the whole time. Auto align, and it's in fire capture. It's a very good, useful tool. So we'll go ahead and uh, focus Venus here. Get it nice and focused. Now, it is pretty hard to focus with a, uh, uh, a Schmidt Cassegrain by itself. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and crop it like this. And the reason why we're cropping around auto align because that's where it actually is. That's why we're cropping around there. Crop it in so we have more frames per second. And there is our planet Venus. And now we can start videographing it. This is currently the luminance channel, so we're going to switch to the red. Which means we we'll probably have to focus again. This is probably the best I'm going to get it. I guess so we'll go ahead and record. So we'll click uh, the record button. And then it'll start taking videos. I'm probably going to make sure center a little bit better than that. Now with the dust bus being all over it. Now we'll let it go for a little bit on the red channel. All right guys, so I'm going to uh, switch channels now and to the green. So here's the green channel. Let's go ahead and uh, center it. Uh, I just switched, yeah, I already did all the focusing. Now I gotta focus again because I just switched channels. Okay, we'll go ahead and switch channels. And now we got to refocus. I'm going to turn on the gain. Right there. You got to go ahead and focus now. Now we're going to go ahead and do the blue channel. And now we're going to turn down the gain. Somewhat, and we're gonna go ahead and do one more focus, and we'll go ahead and do this thing. We're gonna focus the image. The blue channel seems a little hard, or easier to focus because I don't know why. Some channels are just easier to focus in general, especially for certain planets. Like some planets are easier to focus certain channels, and others are harder. So, for the same channel, I think that's relatively in focus. We can go ahead and just move the planet more towards where it's supposed to be. Don't you dare go out of the screen, Venus. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start the video. And so yeah, Venus, I would recommend getting a U Venus filter. If you don't have a U Venus filter, well, you're gonna probably end up more like an image like mine, maybe better, maybe worse. But 
I'm just saying like UV in this photo will really help in terms of the cloud bands. If you want detail on the planet Venus, definitely go for a UV in this photo. If you're fine with getting a white blob like me, then I guess go ahead and not get the UV in this filter and just buy a really expensive telescope because then you can get <laughs> um, some great images of the other planets um, as well. So, I mean, the reason why I made this video about Venus right now is because it's in a good position in the sky right now. Um, it's the west, but it's really high up, especially for the United States. It's pretty high up right now. Um, uh, yeah, so we have a pretty high up Venus compared to some years where it's really low in the sky. Um, and also, uh, Venus is pretty close to us right now. It's getting pretty bright. June will be the best time to view Venus, though. I'm saying June is the best time because then it will be close to us. And All right, so I think the Blue Channel has had enough for today. And I think that's it for Venus, and I will see you guys when uh, the image is finished.